Early on the morning of September the 1st, 1939, the German army invades Poland. The news is broadcast throughout Germany by Adolf Hitler himself. Werner Hartz is in Berlin. The streets are empty and there are no troops to be seen. There are no cheering people such as we had at the start of the Great War. War has broken out quietly, as if under a cloud. Two days later, Britain and France declare war on Germany. Adolf Hitler has started a Second World War. captured airfield on the outskirts of Warsaw. The Nazi invasion is only three weeks old, but already the Poles are facing defeat. A jubilant Hitler arrives to congratulate his troops. Endless columns of the Polish army have become prisoners of war. Whatever remains must surrender and lay down its arms or it will be destroyed. As part of the secret pact with Stalin, Red Army invades eastern Poland. When the Poles still refuse to surrender, the city of Warsaw is devastated. A German soldier we encountered masses of refugees in carts. People are leaving town. Our artillery has had a field day. Everything has collapsed. There are people standing at the side of the road watching us with hatred. Hitler's defeat of Poland leaves 70,000 dead. As a state, Poland ceases to exist. Hitler hopes that his destruction of Poland will serve as a warning to Britain and France. He makes them an offer of peace. When it is dismissed, he is enraged. Josef Goebbels the Führer believes England has to get a knockout blow. England's power is now simply a myth, not a reality any longer. All the more reason why it must be smashed. Before then, there will be no peace in the world. May the 10th, 1940. Hitler launches Blitzkrieg in the West. He catches the Allies by complete surprise. Private Hans Gotthard. My darling wife, how can I start to describe this experience? From all sides, we can feel the march of thousands. The thunder of artillery never ceases, and we just follow its echo. In just two weeks, the German army has the Allies on the run. At Dunkirk, more than 340,000 men of the British and French armies are forced to abandon France. Peter Zupf, a German pilot, flies over the beach. It is hard to describe the panic of the English. Imagine a picture of absolute chaos on the beaches. Sawn away weapons and guns, and lots of vehicles and tanks. Is a fall of Dunkirk 
the whole of the Belgian and French coast is in our hands. With the British army beaten, France is now alone. Hans Bauer, Hitler's pilot, films the Führer's triumphal arrival in France. Soldiers of the Western Front, you have not disappointed me. The most daring plan in the history of war was realized thanks to your unequaled valor. Our victory shall teach our enemies an historic lesson. June the 22nd, 1940, the French formally surrender. Yet for some German soldiers, the price of victory is too high. Private Hans Gotthard. My darling wife, I am completely shaken inside. Our soldiers have become childlike and cruel. When we have won this war, I can imagine all the enthusiastic speeches at home about our leadership and the spirit of the troops. I have to say it is untrue. We have only won due to our wickedness. Six AM, June the twenty eighth. Hitler enters the defeated French capital. Within barely six weeks of heroic struggle, our soldiers have ended the war in the West. Their deeds will enter into history as the most glorious victory of all time. I order flags to be flown throughout the Reich and bells to ring for seven days. Only Britain now stands in the way of Hitler's total mastery of Europe. A week later, he returns to Berlin. Hundreds of thousands of people line the streets to greet him. He makes yet another offer of peace to Britain. Mr. Churchill should place his trust in me. The continuation of this war will end in the complete destruction of one of our two nations. I know it will be Britain. I direct yet another appeal to reason. Winston Churchill refuses the offer. The battle for Britain has begun. Hitler believes his pilots must eliminate the Royal Air Force before an invasion can take place. This time they encounter a more formidable enemy. Messerschmitt pilot Ulrich Steinhilper. I can report I've now shot down my fourth Spitfire but it cost me an excellent pilot. The day before, we had three more losses. My wingman was also caught. There are only 12 left from the old crew. The British have a new engine in their Spitfires, and we can hardly keep up with it. A week after his last letter home, Ulrich Steinhilber is shot down over Britain. When Churchill orders the bombing of German cities, Hitler switches his attack from the RAF to the British people. If the Royal Air Force should drop 2,000 or 4,000 bombs, then we will drop 200 or 400,000 even one million bombs in a single night. If they then increase their attacks, 
we will obliterate their cities. Hitler's pilots blitz Britain day and night. Over the next nine months, more than 40,000 people are killed. But the British still refuse to give in. The Luftwaffe is starting to suffer heavy losses. Bomber pilot Peter Stahl. 16th of October. Our losses amount to four bombers and their crews. This is a heavy blow. And tomorrow, the official communique will state that our brave air crews have inflicted devastating damage on vital targets. And our own losses were only minimal. My soul wishes to be out of here. By May 1941, Hitler has lost the battle for Britain. For the first time, he has met his match. I am not a man to abandon a fight once begun. I've proved this in my life, and I will prove it again. In Hitler's new eastern provinces, victory has brought a brutal new regime. The Poles have a thin Germanic layer. Below that is foul material, the Jews. The most disgusting thing imaginable. If Poland had lasted any longer, everything would be lyserim. A clear, masterful hand is now needed here. Hitler requires all Jews to be marked with a special armband. They are rounded up and forced to live in ghettos. The largest ghetto is in Poland's old capital, Warsaw. Four hundred thousand Jews are confined within its walls. Seventeen-year-old Mary Berg. The ghetto is becoming more and more crowded. There is a constant stream of new refugees. People are ragged and barefoot, with the tragic eyes of those who are starving. Starvation alone is killing 40 to 50 people each day. I saw a little girl crying. She looked at me with her blue eyes and said, I'm hungry. Why does no one come to our aid? How long are we going to be kept here? Yosef. Goebbels. The Führer prophesied that if the Jews brought about another world war, they would experience annihilation. The world war is here. The extermination of the Jews is the necessary consequence. By the end of 1942, Almost 300,000 men, women, and children have been taken from the Warsaw Ghetto to the death camp at Treblinka. Hitler's final solution is underway. After his defeat at the hands of the RAF, Hitler has abandoned his plans for an invasion of Britain 